The story of Emperor Aurelian is a fascinating tale of a skilled military commander who rose to power during the crisis-ridden period of the Roman Empire in the 3rd century AD. Aurelian, born in 214 AD in the city of Sirmium, would go on to become one of the most successful emperors in this turbulent era. Rising through the ranks and earning a reputation as a capable and disciplined leader, in 270 AD, the Roman Empire was facing numerous challenges, including invasions, internal strife, and a series of short-lived rulers. At that time, the so-called crisis of the third century had severely weakened the once mighty empire. Aurelian quickly proved his capabilities as a leader. One of his first tasks was to reunite the fragmented Roman Empire, the so-called Palmyrene Empire, led by the formidable Queen Zenobia, had seceded from Roman control and claimed parts of the eastern provinces. Aurelian swiftly marched east and, after a series of successful campaigns, managed to defeat Zenobia's forces and re-establish Roman authority over the eastern territories. Having secured the eastern front, Aurelian turned his attention to the Gallic Empire, a breakaway state encompassing Gaul, Britain, and parts of Germany. With a series of military victories, he managed to reclaim these regions, bringing them back under Roman control. One of Aurelian's most significant accomplishments was his successful campaign against the Gallic Empire, led by Tetricus in 274 AD. The two forces met in the Battle of Chalon, where Aurelian emerged victorious. Rather than subjecting the defeated Tetricus to humiliation or death, Aurelian showed clemency and allowed him to retire peacefully. Emperor Aurelian was also known for his administrative reforms and construction projects, including the Aurelian Walls, a fortified defensive barrier surrounding the city of Rome. Large portions of them still stand to this day. Despite his impressive accomplishments, Aurelian's reign was relatively short-lived. In 275 AD, during a campaign against the Palmyrene rebels, he was assassinated by some of his own officers. The exact reasons for his assassination remain unclear, but it is believed that internal political intrigue played a significant role. Emperor Aurelian's death marked the end of a brief period of stability in the Roman Empire. His reign is remembered as a time of restoration and reunification. <laughs>